right, welcome to my setup here. This is going to be fun getting this in two camera bags. I got a, a Shimoda Action X50 is my main camera bag, and then I got a second camera bag, a little bit smaller, low pro. It's more like a hiking bag, but it should be perfect for this bear camp. We are going to be joining Scott Stone in Katmai National Park, and uh, the best thing about Scott's camps are you don't need a tent. You'll notice there's no tent, sleeping bag. He provides everything. You just need to bring clothes and your camera gear. You can't get better camping experiences than that. So let me break down what I have. Let's start with the fun stuff. I'm going to start with the cameras here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is this here is my favorite camera that I've ever had. The camera is the Canon R5 and attached to it is a lens that um, I just got. I'm renting it. It's the Canon RF 100-300 f2.8. And a lot of people don't think that's going to be a good wildlife lens, but I'll be making a YouTube video on it. And uh, I can assure you that this is going to be an excellent setup. And I picked this one first because it's my favorite, but it's actually going to end up going in this bag at the end of the video. So I'm just going to put this to the side for now. And we're going to go to <clears throat> our next big guy here. Well, let me just move this out of the way. This is a tripod with a Flex Pro head on it. It's like a gimbal, mini gimbal ball head. It works really, really good for videos. And uh, the tripod is a Manfrotto 290 Lite. It's fairly lightweight, only has two clicks. It's not super tall, but it gets the job done. And it's um, a lot better than a big gimbal head. So we'll put this to the side. That's gonna go in this camera bag at the end as well. Okay, next up, you'll see this big, huge, 600 f4 this is like a staple to every professional wildlife photographer's uh, camera bag and a lot of people are going to be taking this to Katmai national park i'm not actually i'm going to take this lens off this is a uh, version two this is actually scott's lens he said hey i'm not going to bring it to Katmai for the summer do you want to use it for the summer i said uh yeah and i'm not bringing it to Katmai either it's too much for where we're going 600 is I mean, you'll get some great shots with it for sure, but it's too heavy. We'll be doing a lot of walking and we'll be a lot closer than 600, hence the 100 to 300. So let's take this off and I'm gonna take, uh, it's got an adapter on it. It's a version two EF, so we don't need the adapter. This camera is the Canon R7. So while we do that, let's get this lens cap on here. And what we're gonna do is just put this in the throwaway pile, not really throwing it away, but we'll get that out of sight for now. It's Canon R7, and uh, for traveling purposes, I'm gonna attach the 70 to 200. So let's attach this now. It's gonna be super long. It's got the adapter plus an extender. I wanted to get the new 70 to 200, but I don't think it's worth the price. This is the version three. It's the same quality, just a little bit lighter. And uh, I just don't think it's absolutely necessary, but this is still a really lightweight setup. And that's gonna bring me to the next thing. Um, this 7200 is, I think it's gonna be like 448 F4 is the max range. So I, I think that's the math actually. And that makes me realize, okay, well I don't need this. This is the Canon RF 100-500. It's been my personal uh, favorite wildlife lens, but um, I'm gonna be doing some YouTube tests out in Katmai this trip, so I'm not gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring it on my next one, but not on this trip. We're gonna put this in the throwaway pile as well. All right, we've already reduced some weight. So um, now that I have some room, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. These are rain covers. I got um, one camera body and lens rain cover by Think Tank. Another one that's just a clear pass plastic, like $4 bag or something like that. And then this is for the 100-300. It's a uh, lens coat that just keeps it protected if it rains. Should be pretty warm on this trip. The last day might be a little bit cold. So um, with that being said, we can put this camera bag up here and start packing this away. Canon 70-200 is going to go in here. And let's go to our next lenses. This is um, the Canon 15-35. Uh, and you know what I just thought about? Um, I'm going to want to get some float plane footage, so I'm going to put the, let's see, that's the R7 I just put away. I'm going to put the R5 with the float plane 
for takeoff and everything. So we're gonna put this away and let's get uh, let's move some things around. Let's change some plans here on the fly. Canon 15 to 35. This is gonna go on my lap. So this won't need to go in the camera bag. But this 100 to 300 is going to go in the camera bag. Okay, next up I can throw these things in here. There's a little slot in my bag. I could just put these right up in here, out of the way. A little tight, but it definitely uh, works. Next lens, this is the Canon 51.2, awesome lens. Since I do YouTube videos, I'll be uh, trying to get some B-roll with some of the Scott setup out there. He's gonna have Starlink, so it would be cool to get some footage of that. And I'll just put this right in here. And that is good to go. Let's go with the microphones. I have a couple microphones here. This is gonna actually go on top of the R5. This is the Rode NTG Pro 1 or something like that. A pretty good mic. Does need battery, but we'll have chargers out there. And I have some action cameras. This is the Insta360 GO 3. It has this uh, little hat mount, which I love. I put it on my hat and uh, obviously, and get some awesome behind the scenes footage for Instagram reels. And uh, it definitely helped me gain a lot of followers. So if you are a wildlife photographer and want to gain followers on Instagram, you got to suck up and do those reels. And uh, this Insta360 makes it a lot easier. We can just put this in here. Next up is this Insta360 ONE X2. Good 360 camera. Plan on getting some more B-roll with that. And this is the battery for that. So I'll put that in here. And next up is the GoPro Hero 10 Black. We could do quick little time lapses of some low tides and high tides. Um, some more behind the scenes stuff if we want. Just uh, nice to have a couple extra batteries. It is nice to have a couple extra action cameras. So we could put that away and Next up is another YouTube purposeful thing. This is an Atomos Ninja. I debated on not bringing it, but since I'm doing a YouTube video on the 100 to 300 and a Canon R7 actually, um, you want to just get some autofocus footage and it just makes it easy so I can record the screen. So it's got one battery, two batteries. It's like an extra couple pounds that I got to bring, but it definitely um, should be worth it I, I hope shout out to my friend Paul for giving me that wire I wouldn't have been able to bring it but um because my wire broke but he actually probably the only other person on Kodiak Island that has that micro HDMI to HDMI cable so thank you Paul I appreciate that and um, why we're here this is a uh, Garmin inReach 2 mini in inReach mini 2 this just attaches to my camera bag I believe I put it on this side and we'll just clip that in okay that's ready to go one thing I love to have since I wear glasses and it rains in Alaska a lot I don't have camera lenses some lens cloths I actually have more that I'm gonna bring there here's only two but um I'm gonna definitely bring a lot more okay next up some spare batteries and memory cards there's only four batteries in here right now I have uh, two more charging so we could put that in there and then I have a two extra memory cards a CF Express and a um, actually I have more SD cards in the Canon R7 so I'll have enough memory for this trip because I'm also going to be bringing in this bag a four terabyte hard drive I don't have my laptop out here I'll be bringing my laptop um, maybe the last thing I put in my camera bag tomorrow, but throw my laptop in there and we'll have four extra terabytes to work with and it's just going to make everything really, really nice. So let's go ahead and put um, this bear spray in its pocket. This goes right underneath the inReach and we just slide that in there. Now we got some bear spray. Um, you don't need to bring bear spray, especially if you are traveling to Alaska. You'll have to buy some because you can't bring it on planes. I just happen to live in Alaska already, so and I have some with me. And then this is going to go on the 15 to 35. This is just an ND variable ND filter by Freewheel. It's also a little mist ND on there, so it's really nice for some B-roll and whatnot. Here's a DJI microphone. Again, the YouTube thing. I have so many microphones, but I've had so many audio, audio issue, issues in the past. I don't ever want to deal with them again. So 
That's why I have, let's see. I got the mic that I'm recording with, Osmo Pocket 3 that we're recording. We'll be bringing that. Okay, and then we have the Rode NTG that comes with us. And then the DJI mic too. So, um, yeah, we are moving along pretty good here. And then I typically don't use these extenders. These are 1.4 and 2X, but again, for YouTube purposes, we'll bring them. Uh, RF 1.4 and RF 2X extenders. So we got them in there. And then we just have a couple accessories. This is a uh, hot shoe phone adapter for more behind the scenes footage. Cable management, one's a battery management, one's cable and like computer accessory management. But it's really nice to not have any loose wires in my bag. So that we can put actually right in here. Oh man, we have some extra room, guys. I'm not bringing the 100 to 500 though. It's just, maybe I'll keep it a little bit lighter. This is a huge, huge Insta360. Like, there's no need for it to be this long, but I think we can get some cool footage out there. I'll put it in my camera bag and get some behind the scenes footage. And I think that's gonna look really, really nice. So, put that on the side for now. This is gonna go in my camera bag. This here, is a pretty cool like tripod disc it's for on the ground bigger lenses and that way you don't have to hurt your neck or your back laying on the ground you can just plop this down it's mounted up for you and uh you get those awesome low to ground shots and for transport purposes we'll just loosen this up i'm so loud and we'll put that in another bag let's start um packing some clothes away before we pack some clothes away, I have two like toiletry bags here, just some toothpaste, toothbrush, baby wipes, deodorant, um, Clorox wipes, and uh, yeah, so I got that. We can start packing some stuff away. So, clothes, you guys can wear whatever you wanna wear, whatever brands you wanna wear, nothing sponsored. Um, I will say that uh, you definitely get what you pay for a lot of times with some clothing. Um, I wouldn't cheap out in Alaska. It can get really cold, really hot, really wet. You'll be walking through rivers. I have some waders here. Now, let's start packing up this bag so we can um, put the uh, big 100 to 300 lens in here. I'm gonna start with, um, I got a hat and gloves actually. Uh, this is gonna go inside this bag in the back panel at the end. I'm gonna look for my underwear and shorts and I got two pairs of shorts just for sleeping in or just hanging out if it's really hot. We're gonna put these at the bottom. Okay, so I'll be in Katmai for four days and three nights, but I do like to bring extra pairs of underwear and socks. So now what we do is we have a nice padding underneath. We'll take this 100 to 300, throw that in here and that should, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting so we can zip it up at the end. But that should give me, yep, I'll be able to zip that up. And now we can start putting some more clothes in there. So what I like to do is uh, wear a pair of pants when I go out there and I just bring one extra pair. We can throw this in here. I don't need to have too much. Um, same thing with uh, sweaters. One sweater, I'll have some jackets I'll show you in a second. And then we have some shirts. These are just um, short sleeve shirts and some long sleeve shirts just to wear. Um, change those every day and that way we don't get any rashes or anything like that. It's definitely nice to have some spare backup. So that's pretty full, which is totally fine because this backpack has a lot more room still, which is a big reason I got it. Well, I really got it for FPV drones and stuff, but also for these camps. Okay. And this doesn't get checked through security or anything. We just hop on a float plane. Um, you're with it when you put it in the ba or back of the plane, and you're with it when you get it back. So uh, this is a towel. We just bring like a, like a sweat towel. Bring that there. And we got... I, uh, it's not a sweater, it's just like a, a warmer long sleeve shirt. Um, so we'll put that, I actually just got it today. I'm pretty, it's like $9,000, Fall Raven, Fial Raven, however you say it. 
it's expensive for hopefully a good reason. Put that over there. This bag is nearly full. Um, let's see if we can put anything in here, like some baby wipes and stuff. If you guys are traveling from another place in Alaska or another state and you're flying commercial and like a bigger jet or something, I'd recommend just putting this in some luggage and, um, and then when you go on your float plane ride, you can break it down easier. Uh, so this bag is good to go. We'll just put this over here. Okay, we can stuff some stuff in here. And starting with the sweater. We could just toss this in here. And hat and gloves we can toss in here. I don't anticipate using them because the forecast seems to be scorching hot, but you do never know. And we are good to zip this side up now. So, let's uh, put this up. Now, one thing you have to be careful of, um, I know I'll be going to Katmai with only one other person, so I should be good on weight, but uh, make sure you ask whatever company or whoever you're flying with what your weight limit is, because you might only be limited to 30 pounds, and that could also be including camping gear. So really be careful and make sure you are good to go before you pack everything. I'm just gonna just need to be velcroed up a little bit. Okay, we can flip this up and we're gonna put this Insta360 pole, it's so loud. We're gonna put this Insta360 pole in here. We have a flashlight. I don't think we'll even need it, but I just keep it in my camera bag. Anyway, flashlight and uh, we can probably actually the laptop will go in here too so what i'll do is i'll put this here and this will go in the top part we can zip this up the only thing that needs to go in here now is the cam or the uh the laptop but i have this whole top section here guys which is just really really nice for adding some stuff like this I have this Sitka jacket. It's really warm and um, it's super foldable and compact. So not only are you getting the warmth out of it, um, you are getting some compact ability out of it. So we could just stuff this in here like a, a stuff sack. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this disc in here, this gimbal head in here, and then one final thing is just this light um, windbreaker slash rain jacket just in case if it's still warm but i want to be uh, wet proof too so we'll put that in there and that is everything that's going to go in there and what's great is all you have to do is just roll this forward and then you can just clip it up back here good to go and we are packed for camping the only thing i could do is I'm gonna put this tripod in this bag. And I love this tripod. It is really, really nice. Hold full gimbal heads, gets awesome stable videos with a 600 millimeter lens or whatever other lens you wanna put. And that is uh, just about how simple it is. So if you guys wanna see a YouTube video on that, we could do that. But we got this, we can just now Tighten that up so this tripod is good to go. I got all that in these two bags here. You know what the best part about this is, guys? I literally didn't know if it would all fit. And we made it fit. The Osmo Pocket 3 that I'm recording on right now is going to go inside of my waders. I can fit a lot in my waders. This Canon R5 is going to go on my lap for some videos. And uh, these waders will be on. So I think... That is about, it sums it up for this video. I'm going to make a full video on this camping trip. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. I'm going to get some awesome footage. With that being said, that's all I have. I can't wait to use that 100-300 out in 
cat mice. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.